Hi everyone, my name is Ritika Goswami and you're watching this video on my channel which is RG Explains where I explain concepts related to chemistry because well I love doing that. Well, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, you should do that because it's free and if you have done that then you're great people and let's continue in this video. In this video, I am not going to be explaining any topic because I don't want to do that today because I want to talk today. I want to talk to you guys heart to heart because I think it's high time we should do that. Basically, I'm going to be talking about what is this channel about and also about why is this, you know, there's a preconceived notion about chemistry being so bad that you should basically skip it. Okay, let's talk about that because I think it, we should. Well, I think everybody of us has seen this dialogue pop up somewhere. Okay, and I think this is a beautiful series on Netflix. You should definitely go and watch it if you haven't already. But this is something which came up that it is not this teacher, it is the subject. Which basically means that teachers are great, they're fine, but the problem is chemistry. Chemistry is not fine, okay? So, I mean, I'm here to discuss, is that true? So, I basically spoke to a lot of people, teachers, okay, students, and uh, I got mixed answers. I got, mixed, I got mixed reactions and mixed reasons why chemistry is shown in such a bad light. And I want to discuss this on this platform once and for all, okay? The first one which came up was that chemistry is difficult, okay? Well, in the defense of chemistry, I would like to say that science is not bound to be easy, guys. People are winning Nobel Prizes, okay? People are winning great awards. People are actually putting their heart and mind out there and doing some research and whatever has been done, you're just reading about all that. So if people, if you're learning about something which has been given a Nobel Prize in the past, Guys, it's not bound to be easy. It has to be difficult, okay? So, if I talk about chemistry, in the second chapter of class 11, which is atomic structure, which has been discussed in one of my videos, you basically learn about certain experiments, two or three experiments, which are basically Nobel Prize winning experiments. So, you cannot expect them to be easy. They are bound to be difficult. So, let me just break a bubble there. Chemistry is a difficult subject. And if you want to succeed in that, you have to keep practicing, keep learning and keep growing because that is the only way. Okay. Second important thing which I have actually gotten a lot is that there's a lot of rectification or mugging up required when one deals with chemistry. Well, I think, first of all, I don't think rectification is that bad. It's, it's a very uh, controversial thought, but please give me a chance to speak. Well, rectification, why is it that bad? I mean... When you were in class first or even smaller than that or younger than that, you were basically taught a song which is which goes like, I'm not a good singer, but excuse me, A, B, C, D, E, F, G and something like that, right? You didn't even know what that was. You were just taught that it's a song and you learn that and these are alphabets. You had no idea about what the meaning of that was. But later when you grow up, you realized, oh my God, we have to make words we have to make sentences and that is why we were taught something which we were taught so i mean at that time we just rectified the song and you were okay with that but later on you realize that well that was a re there was a reason related to that right so first of all rectification is not that bad sometimes it's important for you to learn concepts okay secondly it's everywhere it's not just in chemistry it is everywhere i mean if if i gave you a formula of, of let's say integration you would give me the formula right away. You would not start deriving it from the day, uh, you know, from the first, whatever it is called. And then you would not give me the formula after half an hour. But you know the formula since you have memorized the formula. You will, you will tell me the formula right away, right? So it's basically everywhere. Ratification, guys, is not that bad. Please stop thinking that it's bad. And thirdly, it is not relevant. So I think these are the three main reasons which I got. And the last one was the most funny one because, well, guys, if chemistry was not relevant this guy wouldn't have been as rich as he was shown to be in the series which i love again on netflix you should definitely go and watch it right so i mean these were the three reasons i wanted to discuss since a long time which have been making my favorite subject a very bad one so i have made this video and if i was to define it completely then i would not go like you know if i would have defined chemistry the intellectual and practical activity in comparison the systematic study of structure and behavior of physical nature and world I would not define it like that, but I would just simply say in a very poetic way that it's to find the answers and how the nature works. So I think it's quite beautiful and 
at the end i would just like to say that happy learning chemistry or physics or biology or english or anything is not difficult nothing is difficult there is two extremes which is either you know it either you do not know it if you know it it's great if you do not know it you have to learn and get better at it that's all okay so happy learning and stay tuned for